I'm uh, I'm enjoying Gloomwood. I know that Gloomwood is not all that long, but it's a I know it's a good game. So um, I'm I'm excited to play more of this, and we actually have some time today to like do a good session, like maybe even beat the game. We could just like make this whole stream Gloomwood. Um, how are the audio levels, guys? Is it a bit too loud? It feels a bit loud. I don't know why. I have to- I'm gonna have to pause every once in a while to, um, give my cat attention. I'm sure that most of you will, uh, agree that that is a good choice. Oh! I didn't realize that there was water here. Just wanna check this out. Is this like a diamond that I could pick up? Yeah, it is. I'm not sure if there's any point to collecting jewels and stuff in this game, except that it's, you know, it's there. Can we, like, climb into the, uh, mine? Um, so the power is on. So this elevator should be working. No? If the main generator isn't working, this elevator isn't running either. Try resetting the power before you assume it's broken. Or that there are bugs in the control box eating the wires. Easily the strangest maintenance report I have ever received. Oh, also, we're playing Gloomwood, so... In it! Oi! Govna! In it! I'm sorry, it's the rules. I have to. I'm sorry. Y you you know <gasps> if you hate me kill me you know that's all I'm saying oh I smell a rank deuce is cruelty squad any good I've heard it's good I ha I don't own it I would like to play it I don't I don't own it it's on my short list. In it. Oi. I swear on me, mum. In it. So, what's the deal here? Um, I thought that I had turned on the power. That was like the last thing I did. Let's go check on the power. Oi. Go for nah. Spooky governor. Spooky mines. What, what, what do you find in the spooky mines? Well... You would find some spooky ore... ...in it. Um, I guess I had to turn off the generator in order to progress certain things. So... Uh, we do be turning the generator back on in order to make the elevator accessible again. I cannot remember why I had to turn off the generator. I think it was in order to open up a door. Oi. Spooky elevator. And it. What's the button for the lantern? V? Yeah, V. We, fig we figured it out. How was everyone's uh, week? How is uh, how's your week treating you so far? Sock has uh, completed a move, which is a uh, hopefully smooth operation.
Oi. I, uh, I've talked uh, a little bit about my holiday. There's not much else to report. Ooh. Oh, oi. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, there's two of them. in bad. That was bad. Poor skill on that one. Oh well. Back to the fray. My cat, um, will occasionally like, reach up and like, claw, not claw at me, like, that sounds like it, it's, it hurts, it doesn't, but, like, reach up and, like, grab my hand or something, or, like, reach up to me, and, like, and it's his way of, like, asking for attention, which is, uh, pretty endearing. And after, um, after, uh, five, four, four, four or five-ish days of not being around, as I was, you know, I was going to bed, and I was sleeping, and, uh, he came and, like, laid down on me, and then was basically, like, you know how cats make biscuits? You know how they make biscuits? That's the, that's the term to mean that they, like, kind of, like, grab the air. I was doing that on my face. Like, what the, you know, you're here now. Back to business. Give me, give me them pets. Which is pretty good. It didn't hurt. Uh, just, just for reference. It did, it wasn't like, ouch. Stop that. It was like, aw. Cute. Um, I'm gonna talk about some of the food I had in, um, Whistler. What, what, what has happened? Okay. Um, I had, I had, I had, I got to try my Wagyu beef, which is supposed to be like, wow, Wagyu beef. And what's really funny is like everyone I've told is like, oh, I get to try Wagyu beef. Well, that wasn't correct. Um, <laughs> this is really good actually. Everyone I've told uh, has been like, oh, uh, that's cool, I guess. Let's uh, listen to these guys talk for a moment. No? One of our brothers was just killed. <laughs> Look behind you. Oh, that's good. Oi, oh, creepy, in it. Cat is precious. Cat is a. Is, I have a pretty good cat. I like my cat. Can I, like, climb down this? Um... I know some people don't like cats, and that's fine. Uh... I, I think there's a lot of false accusations about cats. Which, uh, don't appeal to me, necessarily. Like... Um, I know that cat people can get kind of obnoxious. Just like any other people. You know, like... Honestly, every fandom has its problem children. That seemed uh, like a really short area. I was expecting more from that area. How was it? I've always wanted to try some in Japan. It was fine. Here's the thing, is I was expecting 
I was expecting the Wagyu beef to be disappointing, and my expectations were met. <laughs> Which is a really weird thing, like, you know, I wouldn't say I had low expectations of Wagyu beef, but I was expecting it to be disappointing, because I was like, there's no way it's gonna be the business, you know, it's not gonna be as good as it wants to be. It's not gonna be so amazing that it just, like, you know, it's not gonna re-change, or, you know, like, blow your mind, you know, it's gonna be good, um, maybe, you know, maybe it'll be good. And it was, it was good, I enjoyed it, um, didn't particularly look or taste like, um, like, any different. I think my problem with it is it was just a good cut of meat, it wasn't like, I don't know. Like, uh, I've had dry-aged steak on, a, on occasion, and the nice thing about dry-aged steak is that it has a unique flavor. You know, it's not just good. It's different. It's unique. It's, it's all, not, and it's not just, like, you know, I've had things that taste different, are unique experiences and all that pretentious business. Um, oh god. But... Um, you know, you can have something that is unique, and it's just not good. It's like, I, I, maybe this is a, maybe this is unique, but it's not good. I don't like it. Yo, my dude! Well, that was... Kind of disappointing. Did the meat melt in mouth? Uh, no, because I had it medium rare and it was kind of chewy. I wouldn't say it was. It wasn't tough, obviously. It was chewy, so it wasn't really melt in mouth. Um, it was flavorful, but it wasn't a flavor I had really, like, I hadn't. Yeah, you know, I've met that flavor before, you know. Um, this is, you know, it all sounds kind of, like, disappointing. Um, and I think that's the point, is, you know, like, there's, a there are expectations for Wagyu beef, and, uh, the expectations were that it was going to be different or, or interesting in some kind of novel way, that it was going to be novel. It wasn't novel. It was just good. Um, I wouldn't say it was, like, so much better than normal steak. Because here's, here's the deal, right? This this Wagyu beef, um, I, I, I had like a little six ounce steak, was $60, okay? Um, so like, Wagyu beef is as much as Elden Ring, basically. It was a lot. It was very expensive. And I'm okay with that. I'm prepared to pay more if it's worth it. Um, but what does worth it mean, right? Worth it has to mean something very specific. Worth it has to mean... Um, not just that it's good, that you enjoy it, but also that it's interesting. You know, like, it has to feel like... It's a it's an interesting or unique experience that you're not going to have that from something else. You know? Uh, uh, do you think that's fair to say? Um Hey Andrino. Just uh just passing by to say hi. Nice. Hello. Hello. Um I think dry edge steak is worth it. I think it's worth it's it's penny because it's not just really good it's also unique and it's also a good unique flavor you'll enjoy it you know you get your worth out of dry aged um i think wagyu beef is not worth it um and i don't think that i think that it's been built up it's like, it, it's almost like a brand thing because it's like wow um you know there's a lot involved in making this meat, and it's it's special and it is unique and it's it's you know it's 
got all of this patina and, and stuff built up around it. But ultimately, all it is is fat and protein in a different way. Just a, just a, like a slightly different look. Um, it didn't particularly taste worth its weight. Um, so, but here's the thing is I was expecting that. I was expecting Wagyu beef to be disappointing, if I'm being honest. I was expecting it to be like, yeah, this is, this is not going to be um, worth its weight. There's no way it can be, right? I had very gauged expectations. Um, so with that in mind, how does, how do you, how are you prepared to be disappointed and then your expectations are met? Because I was expecting it to not be worth like $60 and I was correct. <laughs> um, hey Prime Games, how you doing? I would buy a lamb roast, right? Like you can think of a lot of things that you would spend $60 on, especially when it comes to meat. Like a, a cut of meat. There's a lot of ways to spend $60. And for me, personally, I don't mind spending $10 on some, like, enjoy it that night because it's about to spoil um, discount steak at your local grocery mart. Let me read this for a second. Something is not right. We were hunting some wild boars earlier and one of the pigs got caught in the traps. I went up to bag it. And one of the older hunters, Boris, just started going at it with the axe. He wouldn't stop until the meat was ruined and organs and bones were everywhere. When he turned back, he regained composure and couldn't remember any of it. Worst of all, none of us even did anything. We just watched. I'm going up to the city tomorrow to see if someone, anyone knows what's going on. Um, I know I've been like, kind of rambling about Wagyu beef, but I think it's worth... I'm talking about, I think it's, you know, like, I, I feel very, very privileged in being able to try certain things like that. Like, it really was like, a, this is a 1% moment. I had a couple of 1% moments, you know, like, moments where you're like, there's a very few number of people in the world who are going to be able to enjoy something like this. Um, and uh, I really, I have to appreciate those moments. Um, one of those moments was being able to have a cider in a pool. Ordering a cider... Ooh. A curious sound. Yeah, curious, alright. Ordering and enjoying a cider in a pool. A warmed pool, by the way. Not like, you know, it was a, it was a heated pool. Has got to be one of the... Uh, it, just an exceptional core memory for me at this point. And the cider was good, too. Like, that's an, you know, it's always like, like when you hear people talk about, like, ooh, you know, I got to do something truly novel. Um, my thought is always, well, yeah, that's cool, but was it good? It doesn't matter if it was novel, if it was bad, right? You can do a lot of <laughs> unique things that are bad. I could go and do some bad stuff right now and not pay money for it. <laughs> right? Um, so, you know, but the cider, it was like a raspberry cider and it wasn't too sweet. It wasn't too uh, dry either. It was perfect. It was a, like my, my favorite kind of cider. Are you kidding me now, dog? No! Oh, ouch! Oh, you savaged your friend there, dude! Well, she rounds you all in it. Uh, wow. That is truly something. Squish. Um, can I get in here? Yeah. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, 
Can I put this in here? No. All right, let's get rid of that. I think that's just a shell. Welcome, Prime. Man, for $6, I'll buy a, a lamb roast. Uh, let me try. I, I mean, like, I went up a gondola and saw and judged the world from a, a top of a mountain. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty fun. That's a real 1% moment right there. I ch I hope that that's not offensive to say, but you know what I mean by that? But, like, it's certain something that, you know, there's definitely a, a wall um, uh, uh, of money that you have to walk, get over in order to enjoy a thing. And, you know, it's not like it shouldn't be exclusive to anyone. It shouldn't be exclusive to people who have money and other people not. So I have to take a moment to like, yeah, hey, um, I, I, I get to do this right now. And that's kind of insane. Um, a lot of people don't get to do that. I wish I was here to, to hear about the cider. Oh, yeah. I'll tell him about it as well. I'll make sure that he gets to know. <laughs> I feel bad telling people about nice things that I get to do. It just feels like, um, I don't know. Now, why in the world would I want to bring that up? Wouldn't I want that rope to be down? Should I go and explore it down there? That seems like a good place to explore, yeah. I figure, um, you know, y'all want to hear about some of my cool adventures and it doesn't sound like me bragging, necessarily, and I'm not much for bragging. Um, m you know, genu generally, I genuinely try to keep things pretty uh, humble, and so I, you know, my enjoyment of things is also humble. Is like I have to, I have to keep um, perspective about this thing, because that, in a way, helps me enjoy it more, right? Because you can so easily take things for granted. You know, even something like mountains, like, you know, you go to a place and they they have mountains, and you're like, mountains, Gandalf. Um, and then by the end of the trip, I was like, no longer taking pictures of mountains. Um, and, you know, so like, even that, eventually, you know, the novelty wears off. And I mean, why should there be novelty to mountains? It's, it's an alien landscape. You're not necessarily going to see a lot of them. What is the point of this area down here? This is odd. Well, I'm not gonna raise this rope, because I think maybe later this will become a shortcut. I'm a 10 does like his drink, and, uh, you know, I appreciate that about him. I hope he's okay. He doesn't, uh, overindulge, but, you know, that's fine too, honestly, if you want to do that. I will, um, next Tuesday, I'll, I should have a, um, vetted arrangement of photographs that we can enjoy. You'll have to, um, excuse maybe the occasional selfie, and I'll try and keep it short because no one really wants to hear about someone's vacation. Um, but, you know, oh, uh, I don't know, I, I guess, I think I told you guys about Valley Illumina. That was really the, one of the coolest things, was a, a night walk with a light show. Like, I don't. I, I didn't really talk much about it, I didn't explain really what it was, but um, imagine a hike, it was like maybe, it took like an two hours-ish, or maybe an hour and a half to get through all of it, and it was kind of like different light shows, shows broken up uh, by forested area connected by like a continuity of story okay uh -oh. uh. 
How tall are you, big? All the pictures I've seen make skyscraper noises. I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'3-ish. Maybe 6'2". You know, uh, everyone lies about their height, so if, if uh, I say 6'3", I'm probably 6'2 or 6'1". I'm probably 5'3", actually. That's what it says on my Tinder profile, anyway. I'm, I'm kidding, I don't have a Tinder profile. I have to clarify on those kind of things. It is good to share happy experience with others and seeing their joy by it. I agree. Um, but, you know, I also acknowledge the fact that some people are... The, you don't really derive enjoyment uh, by hearing someone else's happy experience because they are not in a similar position of privilege. And, um, you know, though I do, I do want to share my enjoyment of a thing, um, for people that do enjoy that, I also want to be conscientious, as I usually am, maybe tirelessly so, um, or exhaustively so, um, of, of the people who are not able to enjoy that and therefore don't get off on my story about I got to see a mountain and I also tried stupidly expensive beef. Where is, did I already save the game? Did I already go up there and save the game? Did I completely do that and then forget? Okay, we're good. I am not even five feet. Oh no. Mimesis is a short <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounds rude. Um, I, uh, I, I, I think that's, that's fine. Mimesis is a short. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still laughing by that. I didn't re really mean it to sound like that, but it just did. It just ended up sounding like that. Okay, here we go. I always press exit escape hmm. when when what I mean is uh tab. Yeah. Fuck. Um <clears throat> what's this game? Seems familiar to Choo Choo Charles and theme. This is Gloomwood. It is an immersive sim, which is a I don't know. I I struggle with this because I it, I feel like it's a new term, but it's a fairly old genre. I think one of the first immersive sims was System Shock, which I have played the original, and it, I I feel it hasn't not dated well or aged well. Sorry, um, Deus Ex falls into the category as well. Basically, any game that offers the player flexibility and sandbox experience when it comes to stealth puzzles. You can either um, play the game stealthy or you can, for instance. Oh, well, that would have been a lot cooler if I had loaded the gun. Just, just give me a second. Goodbye. Oh, that was really nasty. Love that. Love that. <laughs> And then, uh, if you pay really close attention to my ring on my thumb... Did Big swear? Sorry about that. That was my... That's my bad. I've been living, uh... <laughs> YouTube and stream-free for a couple of days, so now... Now I'm... I've got... This is Feral Bimple. Feral Bimple Hour. Um... Yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Immersive Sims. Um, yeah, if you look at my thumb ring, uh, when it's, like, shiny, that means that I am visible, like, fully visible. And then if it's not shiny, and if you can't even see the ring, then I'm fully stealthed. I will say I am a little bit, uh, disappointed by the difficulty in this game. 
Just because it's really easy to sneak up on these guys. I would have thought that sound would have played more of a role in this game. Can Thief games be called similar? Absolutely Thief games can, yeah. Although, I feel like Thief games... Well, okay, Gloomwood is specifically influenced by Thief. It's been called a Thief life. Thief like. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I had to try it, I'm sorry. And that was all my ammo, also. So, I... I big waste, honestly. What is that sound? Creepy. I love that you can always see the ring, no matter what weapon you're using. And I mean, that's a really important design choice. But yeah, no, uh, Thief, this game is has been referred to or called a Thief-like. So, you know, it's, it's what the, what is... Some really strange sounds going on. Um, there's something in here which I don't probably don't want to release. Uh, I've never seen men torn apart so fast. Whatever it is they brought back, it's more than any of us bargained for. Do not, under any circumstances, open this door unless you're prepared to pay the new doorman with your limbs and entrails. I will personally ha be paying them with dynamite, which I have gone to fetch tavern be damned. If you absolutely must reach the city gates before I return, well, we tried our best to contain it to the first floor. I can't promise that the basement is safe, but it is certainly safer than the tavern proper. Um, just FYI, great success with the changes of the Isle of Druids. Demos now up all the time and enjoyed by people. I'm really happy to hear that, Prime Games. I'm, I'm excited to return to uh, Fabled Lands and uh and play it proper um is it the the short like time we had playing with it i actually did enjoy it a lot more once i had a better foot it hold um it feels like the kind of thing like once you understand which quests to approach in the order that you approach them then you're gonna have an easier time of things almost like a dark soulsy kind of experience but um yeah no I'm, I'm i'm excited to try more of that For those who don't know, um, Prime Games is the uh, the dev behind Fabled Lands, which is a really good RPG, and it's um it's it's having some growing pains in terms of like uh, its reception because it's it's born of some very specific um, kind of origins and source materials. Um, and um, it's it's hard to replicate those kind of experiences in digital form. Did not mean to do that. Um, and also when you... Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Maybe I should not have come down here. Oh, is that upstairs? I think that was upstairs. Um, you know, if people don't necessarily know the source material, then it's going to read strangely. I'm sorry, I'm now super distracted by whatever is in this place. Hey, Colin. How are you doing? Sorry, I missed your original message. There was lots of things going on there. Hear a record.
I feel like there's gonna be a really spooky moment coming up. Can I get in here? Yes. I'm like completely out of room and it's forcing me to drop very good things like bottles. Not a huge fan of that. Gotta go see you next time. Take it take it easy, yo. Hope uh good luck. Let me know about the DLC. Hope you are have a rest a good rest of the week. Yeah, do y'all want me to go back up to that house and, and uh see what big scary monster is up there? Or uh or just continue as if we didn't hear anything really big and scary up there. So, um, gang, um, I have some, I have some cool news to tell you. Uh, I have a couple of interesting series that I'm going to be working on. Um, you may have noticed that the channel has taken some twists and turns, uh, in the last little while. And, you know, like, the, the primary, you know, orbiting s factor is always going to be Caves of Cud. Caves of Cud, more or less? Well, uh, definitely more. Maybe not in the way you always expect. Um, next tutorial, I haven't gotten too many like asks for the next tutorial, and that's fine. I don't need that necessarily. Um, I am kind of slowly working up the courage to work on the next tutorial, uh, which is a really dense and complicated topic. No surprise there, it's Caves of Cud. Um, hey, I'm wondering if I do release the creature- hey, can I pick these up? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Interesting. We could use these. Maybe? Um, yeah, I've got some cool stuff planned. I am going to be doing a series on a game called Solasta. Um, which is a D&D like game, top kind of top-down tactical adventure, and I really like it. Um, it's got some really cool story stuff going on. Um, it's got some really cool like mechanics. Mechanics are basically it's exactly just Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm totally cool with that. Um, and it's got some cool like very stock standard RPG stuff, fantasy, high fantasy RPG stuff. Um, so I, I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. And I, I also just get like a, you know, a taste for doing, um, you know, just something stock and, and fantasy. So we're, How do I get up to the second floor? As if we really want to go there. Oh, I see. It's been boarded up. Hmm. Maybe I can't get up there. Oh. Um, I'm not sure how to get up there. 
I feel like it's been made deliberately difficult. I destroyed the cheese. Um, I'm also starting a new Caves of Cud series, which, um, what could it possibly be about? What is, what is the theme this time? Well, um, it might surprise you to learn that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm what, I'm what you call an ideas guy. <laughs> several pre, several people are typing. Hmm. Hold on a second. I just want to check out what's over here. Just more stuff. I feel like I can't actually do anything with the uh, creature yet, guys. No cheese! No cheese! So, um, I, like many other people, like to, once I have I have fully kind of immersed myself in some kind of topic or world, um, like to play with the idea of adding my own kind of stuff, my own content to it. Let's see him walk in the trap. Yes! Someone help me get this off! No! Hey, that's not fair. What what has he conjured? Um okay, I'm gonna have to bottle this guy. Hold on a second. Oh, this is the guy who has armor. Oh, I still have my lantern out. That was dumb. I can't, uh, this guy's got armor on. I can't backstab him. Damn it. Sorry. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be starting a series of basically my own original ideas that I'd, I'd like to... Um, I, I have to be very specific on my wording on this because I really don't want it to feel like, oh, these are ideas that I think should be added to Caves of Cud. It's more um, specifically, these are ideas that I would like to see um, mods... Like, I would like to see mods for, for Caves of Cud. So, some of my, like, original stuff might be story-based, or it might be mechanical, or it might be, um, something else, like a, you know, a character or something, something story-based, something, you know, like, it's gonna, it's gonna run a gamut, um, of, like, different ideas, concepts, and, uh, it's, it's gonna be called... Uh, Cud Concepts with a Q. Isn't that original? Super. Love that. <laughs> um, and, um, some of them, I think, you know, are just like, you know, oof. Uh, would make for some pretty fun, like, mechanics. And then some of them are just like little, little bits of lore or maybe like my own original kind of species that would fit in the world. Um, which would be good. Stuff like that. I wish I could unload these on the ground. That's fun. Big brain time. Um... 
So yeah, Solasta, Cud Concepts, and uh, I've got another series that I'm... If anyone watched my series with Peter of Wildermyth, I'm going to be doing another series with him eventually. That's going to be in a couple of months, though. You won't see that for a long time. I hope that that sounds uh, interesting to you. It will give us a peek into how big things. I'm I'm not super original, but you know I try. I have had some some pretty cool ideas for Cud that have actually um, like been adapted into Cud, which was fun. Like um, so I'm not gonna do this one uh, anymore. But I had an idea for a long time ago. I'm, I even kind of voiced this idea in my series at one point which was the idea for a respawn mechanic um and at the time i didn't actually i hadn't made it far enough into caves of cud to know that it was actually already in the game oh no how did you not see me how are you not seeing me right now Wildermyth. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do more Wildermyth. I wouldn't mind, but uh, I, it, there's just like, there is no audience for it. And I've said this before, but I like to draw a compromise between doing things that uh, are for me and also to, to kind of grow the channel. Um, and an idea. Wow. Really? In an ideal world, I'd like to do things just for myself, and hopefully people will watch. But, um, you know, I have to also please the people and, and grow the channel. Yo, my dude, can you go away? Like, you're, you're kind of way outside your box here. Really? Stop it. <laughs> go back. This is kind of annoying. Is he just like this forever now? Because this guy's got armor. I can't really kill him in conventional ways. Uh. Help me, brothers! Goodbye. You bastard. Um. You well, know, I'm sorry that trap didn't work as intended. I would like to do more stuff with the coffee, like games that are intended. Kind of. Oh, did you? Excuse me. Yo, walk in the trap, though. You cannot hide for long. Hold on a second. I'll get back to my thought in a second. Yo, that's a little bit nonsense. I'm sorry. That's actually really frustrating. They, they melded into one. The one I was trying to kill didn't die because I hit the other one. That's a little bit frustrating. Alright, well, whatever. <sighs> sorry about that, guys. That was a lot of progress I now have to redo. Wait, where where was I? Did I go the wrong way? I did go the wrong way. Um I wanna do some more stuff for the coffee. 
Kofi. You know, you gotta say it with a ku. Kofi. Um, like, I do want to have uh, subscription-only series kind of things, like, you know, things that people recommend. Uh, I know that currently the subscribers are, like, very, uh, to put it bluntly, um, shy about <laughs> requesting stuff. And that's fine. It's really on me to kind of provide that service. Um, and I understand that it's not, like, not necessarily why people want to subscribe. You, you want to subscribe to support the bimple, and I appreciate that. But I also feel an obligation to, you know, um, give you something for your time and money. Oh my god. This is... This area is ending up being very difficult. Um, I would just like to, you know, ask people what kind of games they'd like to see me play and maybe do series but like the thing about series is that a lot of games take a long time to beat and so I'm never sure what what's the stopping point where's the line on a on a doing a series right like I know that um, I think it was Kevbo that asked me to do darkest dungeons um, and it's like that's that's a like a, a hundred hour commit if I actually want to finish that So he's gonna walk up to that and then fall in the trap and then maybe I can kill him. Maybe. Oh, really? It's all good. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my inventory system. Anyway, those are some of my thoughts. Um, I do wanna. I want to. I want to do more coffee break. So it's just like you know, these are things that uh, are recommended to me by people who are subscribed to the coffee. I think that those are fun and uh, worthwhile. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna like come down here? That guy had a lot of health. He did. I mean, I wasn't really hitting him. A lot. I wasn't hitting him with my, my hard hits. Let's see if this works. My dude. Alright, well, I'm willing to live with that. That was, uh... Oh god! Sorry. Maybe best to save now before possible death. No, 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 no. We're okay. 
I guess you can burn bodies, huh? Never really thought to do that. Sorry, I'm not being very talkative right now. I wish I could carry one of those traps. Let's see, maybe I can make some room for one of these traps. Hmm. No? Let's see if maybe if I drop those things. Hmm. No? What about that? There we go. So they're, they're two by two. That makes sense. I do want to keep this, but I really am... It's hard to justify, if I'm being honest. Maybe best to save now. Yeah. Uh, you're not wrong. It would be a good idea to save, but I don't... I'm not seeing a convenient way to do that. No, I wanted to drop it off the edge so I don't accidentally step on it myself. Do my eyes deceive, Do my eyes deceive me in it? Down, down. It appears to have been nothing. There you go. There you go. Has uh, anyone been playing anything interesting lately? Any new, any new things? There's been like a, an absurd amount of games come out in the last month, even, um, including what was it called, um, Demon Daggers or something? The sequel to Devil Daggers or Ultimate Demon or something? Like, just really really cool stuff and that one was like really out of the blue did not expect that one I wonder if there's some cool stuff around here yes shortcuts and a save point Doctor, I've left you a message on the phonograph. Please listen to it. Don't look in the mirror. Okay, I've also prepared the basement area for you, for your liking. Interesting. Uh Oh god. That was creepy. I play Genshin Impact. I played that game one point. Four fifteen. Little fish. 
Uh, this looks like it's a, the answer to the safe in the first level. Fishery, mines, city gates, to the mines. Um, alright, so we're like here. So it looks like there is an answer to that uh, safe. It just isn't in the same level. Don't look in the mirror, huh? Well, you know what happens when you tell someone not to do something. They're probably going to do it. Okay. Hello, Doctor. I had hoped for us to meet at my estate. No matter. I can guarantee your safe arrival. A promise few others here can make. The townsfolk are not fond of outsiders. Come to the market plaza before midnight. I will have one of my trusted servants pick you up by carriage. I'll be waiting. Fun. I feel like this is a... Uh, we're not going to be able to see any of this stuff, but we have a, have a taste of... Yeah, there it is. Away to the upcoming upcoming opening of the tavern and market district. Oh, I see. Ah, so we don't get to see what that monster is yet. Wow, that is actually unexpectedly short. I was expecting at least a little bit more. Huh. Um, I was not expecting to beat that. Like almost within an hour of, of opening it <laughs> but hey uh, I, I really like this game and I'm looking forward to more of it um, it's not it's not in my nature to like rush like I, I really don't want to like oh I wish there was you know I'm glad I got to play what there is of it what what there is so far feels very complete and um, I really I really enjoy it it's, it's something I would even like play again just to try different methods and stuff uh, abandon this wretched town. Uh, I am gonna have to go to the washroom for a quick minute. Um, and I will leave you with the BRB. Uh, but if you want to, in chat, maybe throw out some suggestions for what we'd like to see in the next segment. Some ideas I can throw out here just to, just as options, but I have Atomicrops, which I've played a little bit of. Uh, Later Alligator, which is a really wholesome and comfy kind of point-and-click adventure. I have Brotato, which just came out, which is an arena survival game. 